Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the FR-1 Viper by Freedom Blasters. Now, you know, you guys know me. 99% of the time, I'm super excited. I'm happy to do reviews on blasters that come out, especially, you know, 3D printed custom ones because I really want you guys to see this stuff. But sometimes you run into experiences with companies that um, just, gosh, man, you're like, oh my gosh. And so you guys know that a lot of these blasters up here that we got, basically five, we ordered from Frontline Foam. And I'm not the only one that I'm hearing this from. Frontline Foams, when I ordered my stuff, almost about $900, they're like, okay, two to four weeks, no big deal. Okay, after a couple weeks, they're like, oh, we're trying to order more printers, they'll be in soon. Oh, your stuff is being ready, a couple more weeks. It took us over three months to get our blasters, three months. Now we have additional stuff on order because we ordered more stuff thinking, okay, it's gonna come in in time, but it's now been almost two months since we ordered that. And there are unassembled kits. These were assembled kits, so we're thinking, okay, but still three months plus to get our blasters. And when we got them, oh my gosh, I had to print stuff myself to get this stuff to work. So, you know, again, Freedom Blasters, if you guys are watching this, you guys should probably, you guys should probably really check, you know, companies that are printing your stuff and giving you incentives, you know, or whatever, you know, additional revenue from some of these. You guys should really have, you know, quality control some of their stuff because when I got this, it was broke, I get it, things happen. I printed my own parts, but I waited three freaking months. And I still wanna go over this blaster, but I wanna talk about my experience as well as some of the stuff that's a problem with this particular blaster. Now, I'm, sh I'm sure that if somebody printed this in better quality, really, I want you, I mean, the ones that I have look like, I mean, the quality that they're printing in was really, really bad. I'm gonna tell you guys that. It was really, really bad. I feel like they had a ton of orders. They put the quality of the printing to like, not even normal. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that I print, again, for the, for the XFKO stuff here, I print in fine, where it's printing really nice because I could take the extra time to print you guys a quality product. But I felt like they were running so far behind, they just threw their printers on like the quickest mode possible and printed this. Now, sure, I could have got this as a um, all the STLs right here, but I still wouldn't need to order the actual hardware kit from one of the companies. And I figured, you know what, to save myself time, I'll just, I'll just order the whole thing put together. And I feel like, well, I'll jump right to it. I feel like when they tested this, sure, the electronics work. And if you just sat here and did this, you see the cylinder moving? Yeah, and you actually didn't fire anything out of it? Okay, you're like, yeah, it, it, it works. I'm good to go, it revs, it works. But if you put any pressure on this, it doesn't wanna move. Or if you actually put darts in here, look at this, it just, it, it, is, it is not moving. Even I get it, it pushes it out a little bit. It was not moving at all. Well, very intermittently. And again, when I got it, this whole thing was broke up here. I mean, it was blatantly broke. And so I'm like, oh, come on. Just anyways. Um, so that's a little bit of a rant. Now, uh, this particular blaster, when I looked at it, though, I was like, this thing is actually, it looks pretty cool. I, I don't have anything like this, you know, where it's like kind of this brake breach where I can pop these out, throw these in. And these were pretty cheap. I mean, these were about $4 or something like that extra. And I was thinking, okay, not too bad. Again, you can get the STLs online and you could print these yourself. Uh, depending again on your printer, if you put it on fine quality, it just takes a few hours, you know, in different colors. I figured, you know what? You could print a lot of these on one roll of filament. And we got it in our course, our kind of sweet little colors here. So looking at it again, not too bad of a design. I think it's really, really cool. Very, very unique. I do love these kind of six slash eight shooters. It's just something that's kind of different that, um, that I've seen out there. And I mean, you know, for being a flywheel, I was thinking, okay, how, how well does this thing shoot? Check it out, 109 FPS, when I was able to get the thing to shoot. Again, it was so finicky that I'm gonna have to go in and reprint some of this stuff, because when I took a look at the inside, some of the stuff in there was just so poorly printed that I'm gonna have to reprint it myself to fix it. And I hope that fixes the issue. I think it will, because I see the problem of, again, it was the poor print quality that I saw that is causing uh, most of the issues. Now, another thing here is, again, you could run this off a 2R 3S LiPo. Now, the LiPo they suggested for this is the Nanotech 1.3. It's the same one that I used, again, for the, uh, for the grass snake. This fitting in there is virtually impossible. You're bumping up against the switch up there, 
which is going to shift it, mess a ton of stuff up. So I don't even know why they suggest this for, for the, the Viper FR1. I don't even know why they do. Really what you should go with is one of these Gen 3s. Again, it's the, uh, the 550 milliamp 3S right here. This is really what you probably should be using. Fits in there easy, tons of room, and you know, to be honest, you can get a lot of shots out of this 550 through this particular blaster. You don't need 1300 milliamps. It just, you just don't need it, right? It's just, that's way too many shots. Now I'm telling you, when you put this in there, it is so tight in there that it's gonna destroy something and I didn't like that at all. Now, you know, these particular uh, blasters, again, are really, really unique. I think that a lot of these that I've been getting, especially over here, you know, I'm, I'm like super pumped to kind of show you guys these things, but I know this thing has been out for a while. I think probably since like 2019, um, I saw someone do a review on one. I was like, my gosh. And a lot of this, again, I'm going to 3D print in different colors, and I wanted to put it up here on my wall. Now, overall, guys, again, this is more just a rant video than anything. Overall, when you spend good money and you wait three months for a, a, a particular blaster to get to you, it should work. It shouldn't have just someone just sits there and goes like this. Okay, it's spinning and it works. I hear it rev. Great. You need to actually shoot the thing and test it to make sure it actually works and take the time to quality print. Again, I wish I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to throw some of the stuff up there to quality print your products, especially if you're printing this for another company and you're giving them a kickback for, um, you know, or a portion of the proceeds back to them for printing it. You really need to step up your game. That's why I was hoping that Freedom Blasters will see this eventually and say, you know what? Yeah, that, that is ridiculous. That is not even up to the quality that, I mean, even like a printer like three years ago should even be printing. I'm, I mean, again, whew, I, you guys know me. I usually don't get like this, but when you spend good money on blasters, you don't need to wait three months for them. They need, they need to work when you get them with suggested electronics that work with them. <sighs> okay, breathe Xbox, breathe. Anyways, that is my two cents, guys, on this particular blaster. I think if I can get this thing working and 3D print everything myself and get it up to speed, I'll do a complete review on it because, again, I just thought that it's super cool, it's super unique, but you know what? Sometimes you just have a bad experience with some companies where you're like, okay, I need, I need to do something here because this is not good. Anyways, thanks for listening to me, Xbox fans. <laughs> thanks again. <laughs>